Yeah, you know, we did get the opportunity to celebrate with our fans and even having our family here as well. So, you know, it was a great event today and they, the Demon Faithful came out in big numbers and the energy was unbelievable. So, that was, you know, another special moment to celebrate it with, um, you know, our fans. Does it make you think about how beautiful it would be to win it here again with your families out there and all that stuff? Oh, absolutely. You know, as good as, uh, you know, winning the Premiership was over in Perth, but uh, certainly, you know, a piece to the puzzle missing, you know, being able to do it with family, friends, um, a full pack, you know, MCG of Demon um, fans, so certainly leaves a, a little bit to be desired. And this was nice, but it wasn't the real thing in terms of that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Have you relived the game itself, Jack? Uh, I mean, I haven't watched the game back in, 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 in its entirety. Um, seen plenty of the highlights, reels. Um, seen plenty of tracks goal from the boundary. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's. I've had plenty of time to talk with the past players, um, the fans. You know, it's kind of been event after event, reliving the uh, the memory, uh, the moment, and talking about it. And um, it's certainly special. But I don't think it'll completely dawn um, on us until you know maybe a year or two, or you know even at the end end of uh, end of my career of you know exactly what what we've done and how special it is. Yeah, it was. You know, this is this just didn't feel like a um, you know another event for us players. You know, but this is the first time we got to celebrate it with our family and friends. And being able to take my daughter up on stage with me was a special memory I'll never forget. And we were all gen genuinely really excited to celebrate this moment with uh, with our families. And then you know having the the, the, the demons faithful screaming as well. What does it mean to have Neil here? Oh, it's incredibly, incredibly special. Um, you know, he's come to the, uh, been such a big part of the football club for many years, and you know, he, he comes back once, twice a year to give us a pump up, motivational speech. And I know uh, he always hits a nail on the head with ex exactly, um, you know, what, what the group's going through, and um, you know, he's been along the journey with us. So, you know, he's been one of the, um, you know, true fighters of the Melbourne Football Club, and. It was so special to have him here today. Yeah, back into it, back into it. We, uh, we, we go back tomorrow, so this was kind of nice to uh, close the chapter in a way. And, you know, tomorrow is back on to 2022 um, season. So uh, it's, been, it's been solid. We've got a new um, strength and conditioning coach in, in Selwood Griffiths um, with, with Darren Burgess leaving. So. You know, he wants, he wants to make his mark pretty early. Um, he's got us training really hard at the moment, and um, I know the boys are a bit of nervous energy about the time trials tomorrow. What have we feel the same? You guys have been doing stuff in the, in the break period. What does that sort of say about the 100? Yeah, I mean, we, we've all had programs to, to complete. Um, so, in a way, it's been compulsory uh, for everyone to be training. But, uh, you know, it, it's the amount of people we've been getting to, to trainings. Um, you know, there's been a really good uh, number of players which has allowed us to train to really high quality and you know, even get some some kind of low level drills uh, and game simulation happening in the, in the off season so uh, you know talking from personal experience uh, and I, I think majority of the playing group are you know somewhat e even fitter than they were coming into the preseason last year so we're in a really good position and um, I know the guys are looking forward to jumping back into training. It sounds like a cliche, but we actually have to get better to win it again. You know, the dogs will come again and you know, new skills, new, you know, new tactics. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, this is a, a fiercely competitive competition. And I um, mean, you know, we lost games to, to teams who didn't play in finals last year. So any team and even given day can, can beat the next. And, um, you know, teams would have finished extremely hungry. Um, they would have reviewed their programs, they would come up with strategies um, to better themselves. So, you know, we have to do the same, we have to keep evolving and, um, yeah, looking for ways to improve. And the season opener, sorry, against the Doggies, how um, big is that going to be? And are you wrapped to kick off the season on the Oh, Wednesday? yeah, huge. Uh, when I heard the news, I was um, ecstatic. Uh, kicking off the AFL season, um, typically we're being pushed to the Sunday Arfo Twilight game. So, uh, to be kicking things off, grand final rematch. Um, you know, it's almost motivation in the sense that uh, we know the dog is going to be, you know, bloody firing. So we, we've got to train our asses off over the um, over the preseason and, and make sure we come ready to kick off season off in in good fashion. Jack, you guys. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, looking at it purely of a performance point of view, uh, obviously the excitement of getting our fans to oh, kick off the season is great. But then also, like I mentioned, um, knowing that you're going to come up against, um, you know, the best team in the competition, uh, you got to you got to come with your A game and. It's going to be a pretty big motivational factor, I think, um, you know, kicking off training. Jack, you guys got to take the Premiership Cup around to different people. Who did you uh, take it to and why did you do it and why was it so important? Yeah, so, you know, all the players kind of got 24 hours with the uh, with the Cup and, uh, you know, I took it straight up to uh, my dad's farm, um, shared it with mum, dad, my brother, um, my wife, um, my, my, my wife's family. So, you know, the really close family that have been you know, through the ups and downs, um, being able to show them the cup um, is incredibly special. So, yeah, something that I'll never forget. A bit nerve-wracking driving around? Uh, it was, it was. I, I made sure to not leave it in the car uh, unattended. Uh, I had it, like, you know, close guard. Um, I think my old man must have, uh, might have actually had it in his, uh, had, it, had it in his bed the night I took it over there, so, <laughs> yeah. Fantastic, thank you. Just the the boys have, um you signed up earlier that summer, I think Fritch has as well, you've got you know Cozzy and Jackson and those guys. Do you feel like guys guys are just gonna to want to be here for long term given the culture you've built? Yeah, I think so. you know, hopefully, you know, the younger players uh, and you know that that middle tier of um, experienced players realise how enjoyable and how much fun winning um, a premiership is and it's almost how uh, you know the sacrifices we make um, you know it's worth it at the end of at the end of the season to to hold that cup in your hands. So I think that's motivation um, to a lot of players, including myself, to continue to make those sacrifices, continue to to be involved in a you know a strong football club, and um, you know hopefully keep keep pushing um, and being up top of the ladder. And how important was it just to, for Jones and I guess Jetta to have some recognition today? Oh, huge! You know, it takes a, a full football club to to win. Premierships and you know Jedha and, and Jones have been uh, you know huge players in our football club for many years. So um, you know I'm sure they they probably don't um, feel like it. Um, and hopefully today made them feel a bit more part of it. But they're, they're just as um, a, a much part of this Premiership as, as the guys who played um, it, on Optus. So it was terrific to see them you know holding the cup, bringing it up, um, uh, and getting amongst the uh, the past players as well.